Welcome. What I'd like to do is show you how to determine the distance between these two points and by using the distance formula. Um, so the first thing is let's write in again what the distance formula is. The distance formula is going to be the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. All right. Um, now, to graph these two points, again, what we want to do is find the distance. And these are on, we can plot these two points. And sometimes it's helpful to have the points plotted so we can kind of get an understanding of what exactly we're trying to find. So I'll plot this point, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. That's point A. And then B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up 3. That's B. So what we're trying to do is find this distance right here. And again, what we want to do to do that is we want to find the change in the distances of the y's and the change of the distances of the x's. And then we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse. So to go and do that, the first thing I need to do is I need to label these points a and b as either as x2, x1, y2, and y1. So I'm just going to say, well, I'll call this point my first point, x1, y1, and this one my second one. And again, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't really matter if you switch swap. Um, if you flip them, you label them the other way. Now, all I'm going to do is enter that information into the formula. So I'll say d equals the square root. And I'll plug in x2, I said was 6. So it's 6 minus x1, which is 3, squared plus y2, which is 3, minus 2, squared. Now, I'm going to simplify you apply my order of operations. I need to simplify inside the parentheses first. So my distance equals 6 minus 3 is going to be 3. So it's going to be 3 squared plus 3 minus 2 is 1. So that's going to be 1 squared. Now, I again, apply my order of operations. I'm going to square each term. So d equals 3 squared, which is 9, plus 1 squared is just 1. Then I can add these up. d equals the square root of 10. Now, I can't simplify the square root of 10 any further. So that is going to be my distance by how applying the distance formula. Thanks.